Now that we have a basic understanding of user interface and the you know, basic concepts of how you navigate around in, inside of Google SketchUp, we're going to start making marks. And a good place to start is with the line tool. It's the most basic tool. We're going to find that in our large tool set here on the left with the pencil. So the pencil is the line tool. I can click anywhere I want and I'm just going to start somewhere between this red and green line, the, the X and Y axis, just so I know where I am. Now when I click and pull this pencil out, my line tool, it's going to do this rubber banding effect. It, it's going to um, kind of act like elastic and stretch back and forth. If I just pull out at some arbitrary angle, it's black. If I actually let it snap, either going out this green y-axis direction or red, you'll see that it changes color. That means the line is now parallel with the x or y-axis. So that's going to be really important when you're trying to make things uh, you know, at 90 degree angles and things like that. So I can just let my mouse snap over in that direction and if I click I will have a line that's perfectly parallel to this green line. SketchUp wants to chain lines as you create them, so even though I clicked and made a line segment, it's still going. So now I can pull my mouse out this way and either go at some arbitrary angle if I want, that's when the line is black, but if I let it snap it'll turn red, which means it's parallel with the x-axis line. And same thing going down this way. And something that takes a little bit of getting used to is that we're looking at this in perspective, so it doesn't appear to us in this view that those lines are parallel, but they are. It's just that we're looking at uh, a perspective camera angle right now, so it's not necessarily intuitive. Also, as I'm pulling my lines around, you'll see that when I have a point that lines up perfectly with another point when they're parallel with each other, as I have right now, I'll get a dotted line, and that's SketchUp's way of inferring where I might want to be so that I can have uh, a nice rectangle or square or whatever it is that I'm trying to make. So it's lining that up for me. Also notice that as I'm drawing these lines, I haven't been typing anything in, but the value control box in the lower right hand corner is still changing numbers. First of all, it no longer says measurements, it says length. So it's not just a generic measurement, these lines will have a length. It's telling me as I move my mouse how long that is. And you can see it changes as I move around. So if I just watch that, I'll see that, oh, you know, this line is 6 feet 3 and 7 eighths inches. If I click right here at this point, what's going to happen is I will have a closed shape. When I click and have a closed shape, SketchUp creates a face inside of that. Now you see right now, it's still wanting to snap to different lines. It will even let me go up that z-axis if I want to. If I want to get out of that, if I want to get out of the line tool for a minute, I have a couple of different options. One would be to come up and click the select button in the large tool set, that black arrow, or I could hit the space bar. Either will work. That gets me out of the line command so I don't keep clicking and, and drawing things I don't want to. Now if I just orbit a little bit, you'll see that we made this nice rectangle and it has a face inside of it. So I've created four lines that I can now click on with my select tool. When it's active, it turns blue. So I can click here and click here. So I have these four edges now with my lines that I've created and inside of that we have a face. Once again, SketchUp wants to put a face in between any um, closed group of lines like that. I can click on any of these lines and erase them or even just on the face. So if I click on this face and hit delete that that face will disappear. If I click and drag and create a big crossing selection it will delete all of those. And so we'll do that again. So I'm going to grab that pencil tool and click but this time instead of just guessing at the measurements I could actually type something in. So I could simply say 10 feet enter and now I have a 10 foot line there. I could do 8 feet this way, letting my line snap there, do another 10 feet, and then I'll just click. And I've created a closed shape, just like I did before, but now I did it to specific measurements. I'm going to hit the space bar to get that selection arrow. 
So if we wanted to um, make some modifications to this by like erasing or deleting once again, if we click from the left to the right, it will only select everything within that box. This is very much like a program like AutoCAD. Okay, so I can click on individual lines here and select them individually. If I hold down shift, you'll see that my cursor changes from just that plain black selection arrow to one that has a plus and a minus. So I can actually go around and add or remove from my selection just by holding the shift key. If I go from left to right, it's only going to select what's entirely within that box. It's a window selection. And if I go from right to left, I get that dotted line, it's anything that it touches. So I can click, select it all, and simply hit the delete key. We don't just have to draw flat on the ground, we can draw with the x-axis as well. So if I click and make a simple box again, maybe I'll just do 10 feet by 10 feet. We can also go up the z-axis. So I'm going to grab that pencil and then I'll click here and now I can go straight up 10 feet. Ten feet and now when I come down it's actually going to put a face in there even though I've only drawn three lines SketchUp will use this line that already exists and now it's filled that portion in I can use my line tool again and come from this point out and I will say 10 feet and then I can come down and it will fill in that portion even though I've only drawn two lines. Then I can come from this point out. And if you're having trouble, if you're, if you're struggling to snap to um, specific uh, lines like the x-axis, the y-axis, and so on, what you can do is use your arrow keys on your keyboard. So if I wanted to snap vertically, for example, if I hit the up or down arrow, it would allow me to snap to that very nicely. If I was looking to snap to the y-axis, if I hit the left arrow, it will snap to that very nicely, and the right arrow to uh, the x-axis. So it just depends what you're trying to do, but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. So each time we create a closed shape, SketchUp puts a face on it for us. So all we're going to need is one more line across here and we'll have created a box. This isn't necessarily the easiest way to create a box, but it's important to know the concept of how SketchUp thinks and how it works. Okay, so it's using a simple line to create a three-dimensional shape. 